How will different lights affect the growth of sunflower microgreens? Well, in this video, we hope to answer exactly that. We have four different types of lights on this shelf, all ranging in their light output, as well as their color or temperature. So let's jump into a video where I talk more in detail about the lights and their output, and then I'll see you guys on the table once I pull this crop off the shelf. For this experiment, we're gonna be using four different types of LED lights, so let's get started on the top shelf. These are Barina T5 LEDs that are 20 watts a piece and 6,500K in their temperature. Each one of these lights draws 19.3 watts and 0.16 amps. There are three total of these lights on this shelf and it costs a total of 12 cents per day to run. The shelf below it is the exact same lights. They are Barina T5 20 watts, 6500K lights, and they draw the exact same amount of power, except there are just three more of these lights. It costs a total of 24 cents per day to run these lights. Onto the shelf below it, these are also Barina, but these are T8 42 watts full spectrum lights that are blurple in their color. Each one of these lights draws 41 watts and 0.35 amps. There are three total of these lights and it costs a total of 25 cents per day to run them. And onto our last shelf, these are also Barina T8 42 watt lights, except these are a bit more pink in their color, though they are also classified as full spectrum. They have the exact same wattage and cost per day of the shelf above, which is 41 watts and 0.35 amps, and they cost a total of 25 cents per day to run. To measure the light output of each one of these different sets of lights, I've got a quantum flux meter from Apogee Instruments that measures the PAR. So this is what we're gonna be using to measure. You'll also notice that we have black trays on each one of our shelves, and that's so that we can have a baseline for measuring and make sure that everything's consistent for the measurement. So I'll go ahead and grab my PAR meter and let's get started on the top shelf. So I'm gonna place this in the middle of our top shelf and you can see that I'm getting about 89 PAR in the middle. If I go towards the back edge where it's reflecting more off the wall, I touch about 101. Coming towards the front edge where there's gonna be less light, I'm getting about 75 par, 74. Onto our second shelf. Again, placing it in the middle on top of this tray, I'm getting about 197 or 198 par. If I take this back towards the back end, I'm getting about 187 par. And then towards the front, I'm getting about 144 par. Onto our third shelf. Again, placing it in the middle, I'm getting about 116 par in the middle. Putting that towards the back edge, about 130, and then towards the front edge, about 105. Onto the fourth shelf, we're getting about 150 par in the middle. Towards the back, we're getting 164 par. And then towards the front, we're getting about 124, 123 par. I wanna show how far the lights are from the shelves themselves. So from the bottom of the shelf to the light, we're sitting at about eight and a quarter inches. From the top of the trays, we're closer to about six and a half inches. For the top of the plants, we're even shallower, probably about five and a half inches from the lights. Now that we've talked about the details of our lights, let's discuss the details about this crop. Each one of these trays has been seeded with 100 grams of sunflower that was pre-soaked for four hours in a 5.5 pH solution. They're also all being grown on the same exact grow medium, which is Coco Coir and they all have the same tray setup. They also all went through the exact same blackout period, which was five days total, which broke down to four days weighted and one day of blackout. The only thing that's gonna be different on all these trays is which shelf they're gonna be placed on for the lights, and that's gonna be identified with the color on each of the trays. So starting on our green tray, this is going to go on our top shelf. The yellow tray is going to go on our second shelf, and the blue tray is gonna go on our third shelf, and finally the red tray is going to go on our fourth shelf. So I'm going to place all these on the shelves now and I'll see you guys in a few days when it's time to harvest and we'll see what the difference is. Today is day eight of our sunflower LED light test. So these have had now two and basically a half days in the light. So what we're gonna do is get these pulled up the shelf because they are ready for harvest. So starting with our top shelf, which is, which is our green tray. I am really happy with that growth. That looks super solid. And then the next shelf is our yellow tray. That is the six LED lights. The third shelf is our blue tray with the blurple lights. Ooh, that looks tall. And then lastly, our red tray. Oh, these are so much that I need to make a little bit of room here. Surprisingly, that one looks the furthest behind. This is exciting. Okay. Well, right away, I'm noticing a different level of growth for each one of these sets of trays, especially this uh, tray here that had six LED lights on it. 
I am very surprised at how short the growth is compared to everything else. So let's start over here on our top shelf. So this is the three 20 watt LEDs. The growth looks really great on this. I'm really happy with the cotyledon size. We're beginning to see true leaves as you can see right here, which means that these are ready for harvest. Otherwise they are about to get bitter. I am still noticing a decent amount of the seed holes on it, but we'll try kind of brushing them off with our hands before we go to harvest and see if we can knock some of those off. Onto the second tray. This is the one with six of the 20 watt LEDs right here. And the cotyledons are a little bit smaller than the other tray. And the growth is much more stunted. I'm actually pretty shocked at the growth on this tray. I thought this would be doing much, much better since it had a ample amount more of light than the top shelf did. Regardless, the cotyledon sizes are pretty good. We are still seeing true leaves and the growth is okay. It's not as uniform as I would like, but we'll get back to that. Onto the third, this is our Blurple shelf. This was the 42 watt grow lights that are full spectrum and the bluish purple color and the growth on these look great. The cotyledon size is really nice. The growth is pretty uh, tall and we are seeing the true leaves the coloration on this is really nice as well. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I do notice a slight low spot here in the back and a slight low spot in the front, but that just might happen uh, from germination, not necessarily the lights. And the last shelf, another one of the 42 watt uh, grow lights. This is the pink spectrum. And uh, same thing, I'm very happy with this growth. It's equally as tall as the tray next to it. The cotyledon size on it is quite nice. We are beginning to see the true leaves coming out. So it is time to harvest this. I do like the green coloration on it. And overall, the health of this tray looks quite nice. So from first glance, the only one that seems to be further behind is the one that had six of the 20 watt LED lights, which is pretty shocking. I really thought we just finished another test with Rambo Radish and we did really well on this shelf uh, with the Rambo Radish. And I'm pretty surprised to see that the sunflowers, which I thought would love that amount of sun, that um, more ample lighting would do better because of that. but in fact, they have not. So what I'll do now is I'm going to get all of these harvested off camera. I'm gonna set some aside from each group and we'll talk about the harvest weight, the appearance on them and the taste in that moment. So I'll see you guys in just a few moments once I've harvested all of these. I have finished harvesting all four of the trays and I combined them into three bags here just so I can save an extra bag. So let's talk about all the weights one by one. So starting at our top shelf and working our way down, the top shelf with the three 20 watt T5s had a total harvest weight of 594 grams. The second shelf, which had three or six of the 20 watt T5s had a total harvest weight of 513 grams. This is the one that looked uh, a lot shorter than everything else. So I expected a slightly sh uh, smaller harvest weight on that. The third shelf, which is three of the 42 watt Blurple LED lights had a total harvest weight of 635 grams. And then the last shelf, which was the three of the 42 watt pink full spectrum T5s had a total harvest weight of 662 grams. So the last shelf had the very highest weight. So now let's talk about the appearance. Starting over here on our top shelf, I'm really loving the cotyledons on this. I love that we have a little bit of red coloration in the stems and overall I'm very happy with this. The second shelf had a lot of red in it. I mean like a lot, a lot, a lot of red which is usually a sign that they were deprived of water. So I'm not sure what caused it for this experiment, but I do love the red that happened on this because it gives these a really nice nutty flavor that I'm hoping to experience here in just a moment when we do a taste test. Onto the third. Again, I got a tiny bit of red in this, but mostly we're just had really great cotyledon size, great cotyledon color, and overall stem height was really nice. Same thing goes with the very bottom shelf. It was more about the good sized cotyledons and really nice stems though there wasn't any really redding in the stems, which I really love about sunflowers if you can make it happen. So overall, I'm gonna say for appearance, just cause I love the red in the stems, I'm gonna have to go with that second shelf that produced the lowest harvest weight, even though it produced the lowest harvest weight, I love the coloration on those stems. So appearance definitely goes to the six 20 watt LEDs. And now let's find out about taste. So we're gonna start over here with our top shelf. Let me give three of these to Mandy and do three of these to myself. I cheated a little bit. I chose one that was red because I wanted to taste it. Mm. So very crunchy, nice nutty flavor. That's what you notice whenever you get the uh, red stems and sunflowers is they, that nutty flavor really 
mm. is amplified. So overall, the flavor is really nice. It's very fresh, very crunchy, not too fibrous. Very happy with that product overall. On to the second one, which I am really excited about. Oh, here, I'll give you this beauty. I'm so jealous. Thank you. I thought you were gonna be stingy. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get a few for myself here. Oh, I've got them all mixed up. Okay, so again, for the second shelf, a lot crunchier. Still very fresh tasting. That nutty flavor is very nice. That's a very smooth flavor. I really love that second shelf's flavor. Mm. Second shelf's my favorite so far. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, a few for Mandy and a few for myself. Third shelf, this is the Blurple LED lights. Crunchy. I'm not really notices, noticing as much of the nutty flavor, though I am very happy with the flavor overall. It's very fresh and quite smooth. It disappears easily, which means it's not too fibrous. I noticed a hint of bitterness, but I really like the product overall. So not the winner in flavor on that one. And on to the last group, which is the uh, other full spectrum glow, grow lights. Same nice crunchy. Very fresh tasting, very juicy. Not noticing a whole lot of that nutty flavor that I noticed in the first two groups, but still very fresh overall. I'm very happy with that. Overall winner for flavor is going to be the top two shelves. More particularly, I'm gonna give the title of the best flavor to the second shelf with the 620 watt T5 LEDs because they had this beautiful red stem coloration that provides a really nice flavor. Since it also had this really nice red coloring in it, I'm also going to give the winner of appearance to the 620 watt LEDs. I love the red in this stem and I really love how this crop turned out on the second shelf, though it did provide us with the lowest harvest weight. So as for the highest harvest weight, that went to our bottom shelf, which just beat everything else by a pretty good gap. That concludes this experiment. I had a great time growing these sunflowers and what I'll be doing on the next grow is trying to get some red into the stems of all these varieties so that we perhaps don't cater towards the one that happened to get the most dehydrated potentially and give us the best flavor and appearance. I think that the bottom shelf would have won with its high harvest weight had we gotten the same red in the stems, which would have also given us that nice nutty flavor. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you disliked this video, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And we'd love to get those answered for you as soon as we possibly can. Our Instagram and our Facebook are both at onthegrowfarms. And we have a website that is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you so much. Keep on believing.